Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna drive a stepper motor with custom rotation angle. First of all, you need to make the connections uh, for power supply. I'm using LM2596. You need to apply 12 volts as input and by adjusting the multi-turn, uh, you will get the 5 volts as an output. Uh, and the 5 volts should be applied to our circuits. Uh, for driving the stepper motor, I'm using ULN2003 uh, general purpose driver. Inputs of the driver are connected to the STM32 and the pins are uh, B6, B5, B4 and B3. Okay, now uh, let's uh, jump to coding. Okay, go to the file, new. STM32 project select the uh, STM32 F103 as part number uh, give project a name Okay, now we are going to uh, make the pinout configurations. Come to system, select serial wire, and in RCC, select the external clock. We need for GPIO as B65. Or free. Okay, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we are done with pinout configurations. Let's switch to the clock configurations. Okay, now we are done with settings. Save the project and now we are going to jump to the coding. Okay, for uh, driving the full step, uh, we are going to uh, write a function here. Full step. Okay, now in order to uh, make the uh, signal sequences, uh, we should follow the signals for full step and we are going to exactly implement the sequences that is shown here. Uh, let's make it in this way. Okay. Uh, we are going to use all libraries GPIO right pin okay the uh, GPIO that we are using is B the pin is uh, 6 the pin state is 1 GPIO pin set we are going to uh, set the second pin so let's copy this code here Okay, change the pin number 543. Three. Okay, uh, this one is set. The other ones are going to be reset value. Okay, now we are going to make a delay to jump to the second sequences. Wait, let's say one millisecond. Okay, 
Now we are going to implement the other sequences as well. Okay, uh, second sequence is uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. The other one is 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0. The last one, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, now we are going to check for the uh, rotation per pulse in full step mode which is 0.1758 for each pulse so let's calculate how much pulses we need in order to make a uh, 360 degrees let's calculate it 360 divided by 0.1758 uh, almost 2048 pulses are going to be applied into a uh, stepper motor so we are applying four of the signals when we call this function so in order to make a uh, 2048 pulses we should repeat this function for 512 so let's try it. Zero eight counter here for I smaller than five hundred and twelve I plus plus. Okay. Now we are done and we can compile the project and implement it to see the results. Let's call the function in y1 section. Full step. One round rotation is going to be uh, executed every two seconds, so we need a delay here. Okay, we are done. Let's build the project and compile, run the project. Here you see that the uh, we have 360 rotation every two seconds. Now let's customize this project for the uh, desired angle. Okay, now let's say that uh, I want this rotation for 90 degrees per 2 seconds. I'm gonna add 90 and I'm going to define a, an input for function. Let's define a degree value this value is going to be multiplied by x and divided by 360 and the counter is going to count up to degree value okay let's build that project now you can see that the rotation is now 90 degrees and you can write your own degrees in the function for rotation thanks for watching this video guys please don't forget to like share and comment below also subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos